it was three years ago, about, and I used to live on Bremen, and I lived in a house, and we had a basement, and we set up all this music stuff for this other band I was in. So I had the space where Josh would come over after school sometimes, and we'd just jam. He'd be playing drums, usually. And then uh, we started jamming with Cole, and it just kind of happened in the basement. We all get together, like Josh will come up with an idea, and then we'll all come together on it, and the idea will change a bunch into something different. Basically, Josh um, comes up with something. He'll just be on his own, like recording by himself, throws some like vocals and some piano down, and then even drums and bass, because he can play all of it. And we listen to those tracks, we kind of filter through it, Derek and I, um, with structure and change up um, for the most part for the song. And then on top of that, we put we put in our own instrument and kind of rewrite it. I've always been obsessed with recording. And when I actually had people that I could jam with um, that enjoyed it too, it just kind of escalated. Uh, we recorded our first album down in the basement and um, just kind of made it work, like, it's very far from perfect, um, but we did whatever we could and just worked with it, and it's, like, I, I don't think I'd ever want to lose that aspect of the music. Um, recording it is so important to me, and taking the time that it takes um, to get everything the way you want it, I just don't think unless you were insanely rich, that you could do it in a studio and have complete creative control. The first album we just recorded up in the straight, straight up basement, basement sound, no enclosed anything. And now we actually built a room, soundproofed it to our best capability thus far, and created a little divider so we can actually hear the instruments through the headphones and not have any bleed through and like being in the same room as the instruments. And it was quite the process. We didn't quite know what we were doing. I'm not much of a, the engineer myself. I usually do that more so to Josh and Cole. But um, it turned out sounding better than we thought after we edited it and post and all that. And it's really nice having the studio below your feet because you can just pop down there whenever Sometimes, for example, like yesterday, we didn't, Josh and I didn't know we were going to work on the record for hours, but then all of a sudden we were hanging out and just kind of like, all right, let's just work on the record. So it's really convenient that way. We just like doing it ourselves and it's not like we have any money to do it any other way, so. Music is something that I've relied on for a long time to unwind and um, and just be my creative outlet. And it's a little bit scary to think about what happens when someone's forcing you to do that, or you're on a timetable, or you know you're living off this money, and the only way that you get it is if you finish this product and you finish it someone's way and you finish it in someone's timetable. I mean, ideally it would be amazing to be professional and be able to live off of this, uh, this band. But then again, if you do get signed to like a major record label, they're just gonna snuff you and kinda tell you what to do, who you can play with, what you can play, you know, to that extent. We don't really have a goal. Sometimes that worries me, but sometimes I think that's a good thing. What we want to do is to do everything ourselves, like record ourselves, and then play music that we have written and we're proud of for people around the country. And outside of that, I don't have much of a goal. <laughs> 